Welcome to Lord Fossington's walkthrough of the critically acclaimed game Dark Souls. I'm your walkthrough master, Lord Fossington. And this is part three. The part after part two, and the part before part four. Um, and in this part, this part being part... Did I do this in the previous video? Uh, yeah, I did, but in the previous video was part two, so this is entirely different. Anyway, walk up the staircase. Just walk a little bit on the bridge, and then the dragon will swoop down and burn everything in its path. Make sure you leave the bridge, obviously, because you don't want to be one of the things burned in its path. And uh, you'll get you'll get souls. Fantastic. You can go back to the bonfire, and then do the same thing again, and accumulate souls um, easily, really. So it's a pretty good farming spot. And that's really all I have to say about it. Um, this is assuming you didn't get rid of the dragon, which can be done if you get past the dragon um, or kill it. Although, if you're just starting out like I am, you're not going to be able to. Um, but yeah, you can just run by it. I did that with the other character. My other character that I'm playing at the same time, and uh, the dragon was gone. Although, actually, he came back at one point, strangely enough. And that, now I've tried to have him return again by doing the same thing, and it he just doesn't he doesn't return. So, a bit weird, but anyway. But he's here for this for this character. Um, so right now we're, as you can see, shooting the uh, the hell kite dragon's tail. And that was really fantastic aim there, typical of my gameplay. Um. This is the easy way to do it, right? So I think here I get it right. So one, two, and three. So you got three, three shots. So you got the first one near the wall. Then when he flies towards you, you can get another one. And then you can get the third one while he's flying. You just have to, you know, practice it a little bit. And then you can get three shots per attempt. And it, it's a bit, makes it a bit quicker. It's unnecessary, but it does make it quicker. And that was a failure right there. So, this is the easy way to do it, with a bow, a couple of arrows, and by a couple I mean, actually not that many to be honest, the, the, I think you need at least 12 dexterity for the bow, um, or else you're going to be doing about 1 damage, and that's not going to be good enough, so, um, yeah, you're going to want, that's if you want the Drake's um, sword, you don't want the Drake sword at this point. Like the fact is, unless you're running, I guess if you're, unless you're running some a strength build, uh, you won't you won't really need the Drake sword because if you're a mage or if you're yeah if you're a mage or whatever, um, I don't bother because you won't be raising your dex, I imagine, and um, or your strength, so you won't be getting to what the fuck. And how do I receive the Drake sword after shooting his tail? I mean, logically, it would have just fallen. Oh, brilliant transition. Oh, yeah, I died. That's right. So basically, I died. I went through... I think I went all the way to... Um, well, it wasn't the Undead Parish. I can't remember exactly. Probably near the Archers. Uh, I hadn't killed the boar. I just kind of went around to clear everything. I think I died there because I just pulled and s pulled everybody without really killing them systematically um, and it was a disaster so so I returned to the bonfire I've died returned to the bonfire now I'm going but you can see the soul difference actually uh, yeah so that's death number one fantastic there are a lot of deaths I'm looking at the the death count on this video there are a lot of deaths I got four to regular enemies and three to the gargoyles and one of those four to the regular enemies was after I gave up on the gargoyles and I was going to start just farming. And then I just died to one of the balder knights. So it was just really, really not good. Okay, so what do you want to do here? Uh, if you have the bow, fantastic. You could just pull one at a time. But you don't actually, you could actually just get to the edge of... Uh, I, just pointed, I just pointed at the screen as though everyone could see exactly what I was doing. 
brilliant. Yeah. Just absolutely. By the way, that gate there is. If you get past the dragon, you can open that gate. Um, what was I talking about before? Oh, you want to pull one at a time. You don't have to get really that close. You've got to take a deal with the boar. The boar. The boar hits hard. Um, oh, and by the way, if you follow the staircase, like behind, like where I came from, there's a, the staircase keeps going up. There's a black knight there, which I will deal with. I think I deal with him after I kill the gargoyles. Um, so this is actually where I died. Basically, right now I'm doing exactly as, what I did when I died, so I obviously didn't learn from... Um, no, maybe I did because I left the area. Did I die here? I don't think I die here, so... Anyway, if you can, just as long as you may make sure that they can't all attack you at once, you should be fine. Um, that's why this is working out right now. And the boar can't get to me here, so I don't have to worry about him. You don't want to fight them where the boar is, obviously. Uh, the armored boar. Although on the wiki page, uh, a wiki page or whatever the fuck it's called, it's called the armored tusk, the wiki dot page. Not the wiki space page. Uh, armor tusk. I mean, um, it's not just a tusk. It's not like a tusk just lying there. Or a tusk that it just attacked. I mean, it, the boar attacks with its tusks. That's like saying the enemy I'm fighting right now is... An armored hand. Or an armored bone. It just doesn't, it doesn't even make sense. Anyway, this really upset me for probably a good 15 minutes and then I just uh, just ca I just called the armored boar armored boar well, anyway I hope that was m informative um, uh, these guys I mean when there's two of them they can be a little bit they're, they're not difficult I'm just playing like shit, so just get behind him and backstab. If you don't know how to backstab, um, I mean, I gave, I sort of hinted at how to do it. You get behind the enemy and you and you stab, so by the way, I don't know why that gate, it normally I'm pretty sure, but normally that gate isn't open. Um, but I, I'm not I don't know if it's because maybe the if it's changed since the patch but I don't remember it being open. And I had started, and I only recently updated it. I, like, I updated um, before I started this character. Right before I started this character. So my other character that I started still had the old uh, old version. So I don't know if it's changed. Well, maybe it has, because there's no reason that it should be open if it hasn't changed. But, um, yeah. If you see it open... Great, you can get the basement key really easily. Or you can just use it as a shortcut uh, to go through and get to the next bonfire. Although I don't recommend it because you have to deal with balder knights. And there's one c camping on a side and it's easier to just get behind them and backstab. So you can see I'm using a really cheap method here, just using the um, fire. The fact of the matter is, it's just... Pff, I just can't be bothered. Um, he isn't... He isn't difficult to fight. He just has a lot of armor. So... If you have fireballs, you might as well just use them. If you don't, well... The only move you have to worry about is when he swings his head. Like, you just have to get behind him, but there's one move where he swings his head. And that's uh, that could potentially hit you. But even then... It's not likely. So he's a he's pretty easy, just time consuming. So you're wondering why the fuck it's open. And um this is the basement key. And I'm like, alright, whatever. So I decided to follow the usual the usual path you would have to follow. Which is down down there. I don't know what I'm looking at now. 
So this guy here, if you chase him and stab him, um, he doesn't, uh, well he dies, so, great. Go on either side. So these guys are, have we seen them before? Probably. Oh yeah, of course we have. Anyway, I find them some of the most annoying enemies in the game. And there's a lot of them, so you just kind of want to be careful, because they can overwhelm you, actually. So you want to be a little bit careful and, uh, you know, go slowly and all that. By the way, if you have the Drake Sword, and uh, you can wield it, I recommend just using that. There's no point, I'm using a long sword. I'm tr I try to use weapons that everyone can, you know, the accessible to everybody and most people can use. Um, and have low stats or whatever. But, yeah, the Drake Sword kills everything really easily. And now that I've been now I've been using it a little bit more frequently because I just... Because at one point it's like, you know what, fuck it, I'm tired of the Long Sword. So if now I've started using it, and that was after the Belfry Gargoyles, of course. Um, it's fantastic. Really... It's sort of an overpowered weapon at the beginning of the game. Uh... I didn't use it before, I was a dex build before, so... I'm My first character is a dex build, yeah. This one is... This one, I don't know what it's gonna be. I... Yeah, I don't know. It seems to be a strength build, but... I also put up some decks for the bow, so I don't know what... I think it's just gonna be some shitty PvE build. But anyway... Okay, so here you want to sneak up on the guy, and uh, obviously backstab him. He's got his back turned to. I don't know why. Like it doesn't even it doesn't even make any sense. You're guarding a door way, and uh, you've got your back turned to the only entrance. So I mean, maybe he was just staring at the body, but maybe he was just enjoying the view. Whoever it is, he's a fucking idiot. Alright, so, climb these stairs. There's gonna be a guy on the left. Um, another one of these guys. That sort of worked out better than it usually does. Okay, so there's a, another boulder knight on your left. And then there's a... An undead spearman, undead armored spearman on your right. So, uh, I mean, in some ways it's better to just run, run, no, actually that's not a good idea. Never mind. Because you want to get one of them through this doorway and it seems like, the other guy just moves faster. He's a bit more, he's more aggressive, so, uh, generally you want to pull him first so you don't have to wait around. Okay. Yeah, if enemies are near next to each other, just and you have uh, fireballs, just use them. Like especially when, like the next goal here, um, is to get to a bonfire. Okay, so I don't have to save them for say the bell fry gargoyles, which I actually I think. I th don't think I even use the... Mind you, if you have them, and you have a good opportunity to use the fireballs against the... Use them. Because I didn't. Um, basically fought them with... Uh, <laughs> with loads of different weapons. I think I have a total of... With this character... One, two, three... Six attempts. For fuck's sake, six attempts. My first run, uh, my first character, I think it was two attempts. <laughs> Apparently I've become more shit. Um, but yeah. I think I, uh, the last, I think I killed him with the, well, six deaths, there were seven attempts in total. 
and six of those attempts were deaths. So now I'm going to the uh, bonfire, and you want to go at this point because you gotta. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight um, the heavy knight, the tower knight, whatever. Um, and you don't want to get warped all the way back to the other bonfire. So light the bonfire, and um, you can talk to Andre if you like, Andre, uh, the blacksmith of Astora or Astora or whatever. What the fuck am I doing? Humanity restored. Oh yeah, and you might want to kindle this this one because this is going to be um, this is kind of a, a central bonfire. It's um goes to on that parish, sends fortress, and dark root uh garden or is it the basin? Whatever. Uh one of the two. It goes to the dark root area. Yeah. I know this game. I know this game really well. So now, and also, it's, well, the Undead Parish, um, the Belfry Gargoyles, you want to be transported back here and not uh, anywhere else. Yeah, and you've got this guy next to you. Um, eventually, we're going to buy the crest of Ortorius from him. You can actually, I mean, it depends if you want to farm at this stage. I mean, I tend to get the crest after the Belfry Gargoyles because they're worth 10,000 souls if you kill them on your own without help. By the way, the Gargoyles are made far easier if you have help. Um, as, mo as with all bosses. Uh, and they're also made easy if you have the gold resin, if you use the Drake sword, if you use magic. Uh, if you want to make it really difficult, do what I do, and uh, or not even difficult, but just you have to have a little bit more focus, and I can't be bothered. You know, use a long sword and a shield. Um, I know the biggest change was when I started. You know, just wield it in two hands whenever you're going going to attack, and then get get right back to your shield to block. Uh, anyway, I'll talk more about it afterwards. So right now you want to go here, uh, clear this area. And then, uh, and here is the Tower Knight Heavy Knight. Well, I wouldn't call him the Tower Knight just because the Tower Knight, to me, there's only one, and that's the one in Demon Souls. Um, so, uh, the Heavy Knight, which I think is what they call him on the wiki.page. page. So, he hits hard. Uh, you can imagine he would, but really predictable pretty slow you just wait until he doesn't attack like that and then then you attack again if you're going to attack wield your weapon in both hands and you want to be careful there because he goes right through the stamina or rather depletes it very quickly Okay, so you can see what his, his move patterns are. I mean, mainly it's that sort of vertical attack. Um, and that's the one you want to force him to do a lot. Like, that kind of attack? Not really, because it's got a good... Um, it attacks m more area, I suppose. Um, so it's got a better... range around him. But after that attack he's kind of it's kind of slow to get back up. And that's when you want to attack him. There's not much to say about the guy because he's not and always move to your right, eh? You want to keep moving right. Because then if he does a horizontal attack Chances are, if you've moved properly, he won't be able to hit you. So, And when he starts doing that, that means he's generally, when he starts backing up with his shield raised, generally he's going to heal. So just give him some room, and then sprint and attack when he starts drinking. Um, the healing is much, 
slower here than in Demon Souls. And Demon Souls is pretty fast. Uh, here you've got plenty of time to uh, ta okay to attack. Uh, here's the fire um, firekeeper soul, and up there you can see the uh, what the fuck's his name? I call him the sorcerer, the channeler. Channeler. Uh, right, there was a death at some point. I'm not even sure where it was, but so death you can obviously see that. Uh, so the second death, right? Second death in this area. Yes. And the reason I say the deaths is to give you an idea of, of how shit I am. And then you can compare your skill to mine and then decide if it's going to be more deaths or fewer. Chances are you're a better player, so fewer deaths. Um, and I usually tell the locations as well. A lot of the deaths I take are... Or I guess what most people would be just mistakes, you know, and just not paying attention. Um, like that, Th stupid things like that, that shouldn't happen. So if you have this weapon, you really want to use the R2 here, because uh, you can usually get two guys at once. <laughs> you can attack two of them at once. Um, oh yeah, I think I think what happened with the last death is... Oh, I should have kept that in, because it's actually quite... It's quite funny because I ran the full length of the area to try to escape three Balder knights as well as um, the Chandler. Oh no, I something like that. But anyway, the Chandler is slow. Um, you know, you want to watch out for that. Just keep your shield up. It's it's a swing that you have to worry about. Oh, that's actually a really painful attack as well, but that's easy to dodge. Thrusts are usually really easy to dodge. So that's it. Chandler is, uh, dead? Um... By the way, I th I'm pretty sure it's obvious, but the the transition, like where where I cut the video, um, was basically near the elevators. I Man, I think it's fairly obvious how this area works. So, okay, so you have the mystery key, and that is. Um, Knight Lotrek Lotrek Anyway, he's a dickhead And uh, so you free him He is, actually I'm not just saying that because he has a shit name But, um Yeah He ends up killing the, uh Spoiler alert He ends up killing the, uh Um, Anastasia Of, Ast of Astera So the, um Fire, fire keeper, whatever the fuck she's called. Yeah, terrible. And then he runs away to another realm and stuff. And then you've got to go kill him. Actually, I really like that part. Um, because it's kind of unexpected. Well, now it's expected because I've. So, oh, well, actually, I think here. All right. So I kept in the first attempt with the. Uh, Why does it say I have a third death? I might have cut it out. There might have been another death at some point. But anyway, this is the th this is the Belfry um, gargoyles fight. Now you want to put the gold resin on at the start. You don't want to put it in put it on halfway across the roof. Okay. So. Um, and you don't want to turn your back, although I guess I'm going to put the cold resin on. So, basically that happens to me a lot in this, uh... In my attempts. The one thing about Dark Souls... You, always, you kind of often want to be countering. So you always want to s wait w and see what their attacks are. 
block or dodge accordingly and then you attack instead of being on the offensive. Um, and you can see how much the gold resin does. So here we get the gargoyle tail axe, which is the only reason that this um, the only reason I put this this attempt in. And I find there's not that many opportunities to heal. So generally you don't want to get hit. And if you are getting hit, make sure you block. But yeah, gold resin. It makes it really easy. And you want to... F uh, gold resin, two-handed. Actually, if you, two if you fight two-handed with the gold resin... Um, the first gargoyle will go down really quick. Just try to attack the tail so that you can get the gargoyle um, axe or whatever the fuck it's called. And um, at only and fight him. Fight the first one on. You know, near the entrance, just so you have time. Like when the second one ends up landing, you have time to. Uh, Yeah, that was stupid. And there is the death. Anyway. So that is it for this video. Um, thank you very much for watching. Kindly rate, comment, and subscribe. I've been Lord Fussington, and the next part is, of course, part four. And the gargoyles will die.